Uh, I was lying in my hospital bed about six years ago. I spent two years doing sports gambling and uh, I'd nearly paid off all my debts. I'd won £300,000 in two years and that had got me to within a hundred of paying off all my debts. I was in the hospital bed. I looked in the drawer by the side of me. I had 1,800 quid and uh, I thought, what am I going to do with the rest of my life that can, you can do with 1,800 quid? And poker was the only thing. Uh, when I was at school I had four career options, uh, bookie, professional gambler, ticket tout or actor <laughs> and uh, I think poker encompasses all four so uh, that's why I went with poker. I'd like to be a ticket tout really, I think that's more fun. Oh yeah, that's right. 801,400 euro in a small tournament in Ireland. Uh, fuck Ireland. <laughs> no, no, uh, I, like, I, I like the city west, obviously. Um, I, think the, I think the Fontana room in the Bellagio is lovely. And uh, I mean, how bad can it be? You lose a race and there's those fountains and everything. But the Vic is probably the answer, I suppose. The best live players, the best live players in the Vic must be among the best live players in Europe, I guess. And, and the, the guys that have been there for years, like Jeff Duval and Freddie Carl, and uh, uh, you know one or two others like that, that uh, might be the best ones. Um, but there's a guy at the moment that's really good. I think he's the best player at the moment in London and maybe in England called Thomas Bichon. He's from Corsica and he's playing in the Irish Open this year. But um, yeah, he's brilliant. He's he's really good. Somebody nipped me, I think, I've definitely had a few 20,000 nips, um, mostly from people that didn't have a shilling, and a couple of them I've given them the money, even though I just thought I had no chance of getting it back. It's a real leak, actually, and I should stop doing it. Um, yeah, I think, someone tried to nip me for 100 grand once. Uh, they tried to get me to put money into Aces Poker, uh, I didn't put money into that, so I said no then. I should learn to say no more often. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're probably a hundred grand. Uh, it depends whether Roland's got money or not. I don't know how big the bankroll is. No, I don't know. Sammy George maybe, because, you know, we have fun playing together and he's, you know, he's quite, actually quite good about it when he loses and he doesn't get too upset. Um, I don't know any of the guys. Like, there's a lot of guys that come in the Vic that I always like to see. They're all my customers. <laughs> I can't mention their names. <laughs> uh, poker or punting? I like. Um, I don't get as much time for the punting as I used to. I love the horses. I love Cheltenham. I, I have. I have a sleepless night before the first day of Cheltenham, and I have a sleepless night before the first day of the main event of the World Series. And I used to always have sleepless nights before Royal Ascot, but now it's like during the World Series and I don't even watch the races, so I guess it's poker now. I was barred from all the Grosvenor casinos for four years for blackjack card counting, and uh, uh, it was only that some of the Grosvenor casinos didn't have a very good computer system that I could play poker tournaments at all in England uh, for a while. And I was going in and they were saying, oh, you can't be the same Neil Channing. And I was like, yeah, there's been an administrative error. Um, I, I used to have to play in places like the Rainbow in Birmingham because they, they, they didn't really know about me and stuff. But yeah, I, got, I managed to get back in thanks to Mr. Willie Tan. He, uh, he said to me he'd do it for me as a favour. And uh, that's one of the biggest regrets of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I love Willie, really. I don't mean that. I, I do love Willie, but you know. I'd rather be Marty Smith. His life is sorted. He's, he seems a very cool guy. I spent a lot of time with him in the last year, and he's, he's one of the nicest people. Uh, I don't really know either of these two guys. I, I played with Antonius once, and I think because I've played with Patrick's wife, Maya, and I've met her a few times, and she's a gorgeous, lovely lady, I have to be Patrick, I think.
yeah, I like both of these guys. Nicky, Nicky is very funny. I know Nicky for a long time. I remember the head when he moved all in and they took his cards away and he covered the, the space up and said that when he was asked, what, what have you got? He said, I've got no hand. I think Nicky's brilliant. Uh, I always like Nicky. But Kieran's good. The flipper's good as well. He's a good guy. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to be either of those two fuckers. They're, they're both <laughs> ugly as shit. <laughs>